Meh. No, something's not jiving. That's not it. Colder. Close, mate, but no cigar. Nope. You had it. You lost it. No, that's shy. Mm, no, I liked it better before. You can do better. Good call, mate. Well, that's one step down. Three more left. Crack. You got static? Good show, mate. One stem down, three more to go. Great idea, mate. That's one stem down, three left. Hey, you're on a roll, mate. Two matches down, two to go. Man has talent. Two batches down, halfway there. Hey, you're onto something there. One batch left. Keep going. Now we're talking. Almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. Keep at it, mate. <laughs> the chap's got golden ears. Only one step left. Stop! Perfect! Don't change it up! You've got it, mate! Bloody well done! Hey, does someone get Jordan in here? This is right up his alley! Hey, Jordan! Feast your ears on this! Hey, hey what's this? Sounds awesome down west. All right, yeah, let's have a go at the whole track. Ready? Uh, what's up that beat? I'm back? How was it? That sounds fab, Jordan. Just need to make a few adjustments. Why, why don't you take five? That sounds good. How was it? That sounds fab, Jordan. Just need to make a few adjustments. Why, why don't you take five? That sounds good. What do you say, Wes? You sound a little strained, Jordan. Go grab something to drink, yeah? Loosen up the throat. Whatever you say, Wes. Hey, let's hear it, Wes. Good or great? Really great. Okay. Take a short break while I splice some takes together. Yeah, sure thing, Wes. Uh, that was pretty decent, huh? Great. Great. So let's take five. I want to tweak it a bit. Try out some filters. 
Okay, Wes. See you in five. All right, what's the verdict, Wes? Sorry, Jordan. We didn't record anything. I hate this digital shite. Let's take five while I reboot the session, yeah? Yeah, sure thing, Wes. How was that? Very cool. I hear some gravel in your voice, Jordan. Why don't we take five? Ha have some tea or something. Don't want to use up your voice. Whatever you say, Wes. All right, what's the verdict, Wes? Sorry, Jordan, I'm picking up some noise. Let's take a short break, huh? Eh, uh, sure thing, Wes. Okay, screw this. I just lost my eh, concentration. <sighs> Run the backing track, Wes, or whatever. I don't care. I need a breather. Well, it's a hard birth. Hey, this doesn't reward. sound right. You, you change the good stuff. I don't care. I need a breather. Phew. A lot of passion in this mind. Uh, About tea time anyway. I believe a group hugs Hey man, those order. cables. Uh... I don't care. I need a brief. Whoo, the creative process. Hey, we did hey, what's going on? Didn't we? Move the mic. This is what made it special in the first place. Granted. But still, some of the early tracks definitely pointed in this direction. Why not do the arena-sized album, you know? Where's Heidi? Is she done? Well, she wasn't uh, feeling it. <sighs> right. Smooth sailing today. I don't mean to stress you, Jordan, but we've got ten days to wrap this album. I have the rehearsal takes. What do you say we press on without her? Sure, fine. Whatever. How was that? Hey, 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 who put the red Okay, thank you. Brilliant. All this fighting, Jordan and Heidi, Quentin splitting. Is that normal? Is it normal, he asks. Kid, when I recorded with the the violinist stabbed the bass player with a pair of antlers, and the keyboard player got into a duel with the lead guitarist. Ended up shooting himself in the foot. We had to drive him to the hospital in a snowplow with his severed toe and a bag of ice. Talk about cabin hey, fever. Died, huh? <laughs> yeah, I read what about that. The thing that makes the sparks fly eventually makes the bullets fly. You say with marriage. Anyone seen Heidi's They'll get over it, or they won't. Just don't get in the way. All right, words to live by, I guess, huh? Maybe it's the arrangement. I could add some layers of Juno 60. Bit of Mellotron, maybe. Hmm, how about a bouncy spring reverb? Nah, shit. Hmm, what if I dub the kick and snare and then turn the room mic way up? Bonham but punchy? Um, do we have any more of those nah, shit. With the line? Hmm, or the some extra more compressor, cables? perhaps? Nah. Sounds smashing to me. Or maybe I'm getting old. Hmm. How's this? Anybody seen the extra uh, jack cables? Not quite. There. Better or worse? Or just plain different? Hmm. Anybody seen the extra jack cables? Okay. The extra jack this cables? sounds promising. No, what am I thinking? It's horrible. So, got it out of your system? That depends. You really want me to say I'm sorry? I didn't tell Quentin to quit the band, Heidi. Hothead did that all on his own. We're supposed to be a team, and you act like it's a dictatorship. Don't you see? This is so you, Jordan. You pretend to hate being the billionaire's son, but when push comes to shove, you are still Thomas Cross Jr. You're the center of the universe, and no one tells you what to do. Except for him. Oh, please. The poor little rich kid routine again. Let me go grab my violin. Oh, you're middle class. Right? No one tells you what to do, because no one expects anything of you. Well, I finally have something that's mine. Something that Thomas Cross doesn't own, and I'm not giving up control. Not to Quentin, not to Dexy, and not to you. Giving up control? by listening to your friends. I love your songs, Jordan, but you really are a goddamn idiot. How you fellas doing? Uh, tell you, this humidity is killing me. Should've gone for Joshua Tree, huh? Well, live and learn. Uh, Touche. Uh, anyway, catch you later. Uh, hey, track sounds pretty great, huh? Yeah, I think it's gonna be huge. 
Bet you guys are looking forward to the release party. <laughs> I'm thinking the Hamptons or North Brother Island, huh? Rich assholes versus typhoid. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> True that. Anyway, back to the soul purging. Hey, fellas. So, pretty exciting for you guys to be working with Wes Liston, huh? <laughs> He's a character, all right. Completely old school. Ugh, hates anything digital. Would you believe that he collects Mellotrons? <laughs> I mean, I have a smartphone app that sounds just like it. It's better if you ask me. Ah, well, man's gotta have a hobby. Touche. Uh, anyway, catch you later. Oh, recordings, huh? Just like the army. 10% action, 90% boredom. So, I, the craziest thing just occurred to me. I turned 27 today. So, according to statistics, I'm likely to die within a year. <laughs> Car crash, crazy fan, meteor. So yeah, stand close to me at your own risk. <laughs> nah, just, I'm just messing with you. Relax. You said it, Jordan. Anyway, back to the soul purging. Hey, what's up, guys? Heat getting to you guys, huh? Well, at least this dump is air conditioned. We recorded the first album at my old loft in Red Hook during the heat wave. I tell you, we were half naked the whole time. So Quentin got the bright idea to invite the Brooklyn female choir over to do harmonies. <laughs> Place looked like a slumber party just exploded. Heidi doesn't like me telling that story. It's immature, apparently. I say, hey, you only live once, and most people, not at all. True that. Uh, anyway, catch you later. So, I want to get that package for Wes, but reception says one of our guys picked it up an hour ago. Eh, uh, must have been Julian. <laughs> yeah, he's with that actress again, Jackie Carrington. Saw him sneak up to her room earlier, funny bastard. Damn it! I was kind of hoping the package had gotten lost. I mean, I know Wes Liston is a sucker for all things vintage, but brands are MD2. Eh, uh, says it's the best vocal mic of the 60s. And the deadliest. An MD2 electrocuted Fab Chamberlain on stage at Glastonbury. The model was taken off the market, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I really don't like to Too much voltage turns the MD2 into a death trap. It's happened before, it'll happen again. And let's not forget, Jordan is turning 27. Hey, I'm not the one you need to convince, Grandma. There should it be a guess in this? Huh? Great management. That's exactly how I like it. I am definitely coming back to the Himipan. Grandma. Oh, the Himipan is just a gem. And the staff, wonderful. I can't really say enough nice things about the place. I mean, from the manager down to the shoe shiner. Carl, he's wonderful. What a pleasure to be a guest in this place. Oh, I think that's just excellent service. Oh, great. The manager is running a smooth operation. I just love the place. Off on a delivery earlier, like a piece of hardware or something for the cross entourage. Some of the guys were asking about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was a microphone, I think. Passed it on to one of the sound engineers. So great. 
someone else's headache then. He didn't see uh, there. West part of Branson MD2. Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would West want to use a mic with a notorious production error? West is uncompromising. Always chasing that perfect sound. He once spent six days tweaking the spring reverb for Noel Wagner's Rickenbacker until Noel had a nervous breakdown and knocked Wes out cold with a frying pan. And this other time, Wes locked himself in the studio with a loaded revolver, threatened to shoot anyone from the record company who entered before the mix was just right. Yeah, well, still, I mean, to, to risk Jordan's life for a particular vocal sound that, that only he and, and a handful of people in the world will ever notice? As I said, uncompromising. Anyway, it's safe enough when you know how to handle it. Just don't crank the voltage. All right, well, keep that in mind. I thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Damn. Where's that Branson Marco? Didn't reception call to say the right? Uh, you sent Julian to fetch it, Wes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's he at? Uh, I'll ask around. But, uh, <laughs> are you really serious about using that thing on Jordan? An MD2? I mean, for real, Wes, after what happened to Fab Chamberlain and Jesse Mulholland? Oh, don't be so lily mm. lily. They're not all faulty. Let's do this. Recalling the entire line was a gross overreaction. I used an MD2 plenty of times in the studio. It never electrocuted anyone. Besides, that sound is to die for. Okay, Wes. Hey, I mean, Jordan's dad's got more lawyers than the Church of Ascendants. That's all I'm saying. Duly noted, Sonny. Now, let's do some hit making. Not now, mate. My, my mind's in the zone. Hey, uh, if you're not too busy, go fetch Julian. Yeah? I told him to pick up my Branson mic at the reception, but the lazy bugger's gone AWOL again. Kind of. Man, that woman's insatiable. God damn it, how does he do it? He doesn't do anything. They come to him. Young, mature, the full range. I mean, guys like him too. I don't have any game, not even Monopoly. God, I'm stupid. Sure you do. Stop. Not like Julian. I'm sure it gets old. Law of diminishing returns, right? I guess. Hey, wasn't he supposed to fetch that microphone for Wes? Ah, yeah. Hey, if anyone asks, we'll cover for him. I mean, he'd do the same for us. <sighs> yeah, but he won't have to. Life sucks. There you are, Holly. What time is it? The meeting's not for another couple of hours, Jackie. Oh, spectacular. Here, stay. Keep me company. Smoking's allowed here in the lounge. Thank God. So, where's your conquest of the week? Oh, Julian? Oh, he's back in my suite, pouring ice cubes down his shorts. <laughs> Those young rockers. All bite and no bark. Well, you're the expert, Jackie. Does he really work with Heidi Santoro? Um, wait, who's that? Heidi Santoro, the guitarist from the class. She's like my hero. Hmm, never heard of her. Oh, come on. NME named her one of the decade's most influential women in music. Uh, but, 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 what, what did I tell you, Holly? Don't make you feel old. Sorry, Jackie.
I hope to be part of your team one day. Mr. McKenzie, the would-be defector. I will keep my eye on you. Julianne, darling, I need to pop out for a bit, but don't go anywhere. I'm not done with you yet. You can use my towel if you want. So, tell me again about this director. Okay, Chao Fa is one of the biggest drama directors in Southeast Asia. He's widely acclaimed for his wry, yet oddly sincere homages to Western pop culture. Uh-huh. And what does he want with me? Well, my guess is... Picket Defense was a huge hit out here in the noughties. You were quite the local star, Jackie. Plus, Chao Fa has a reputation for... Resurrecting has-beens? Um... Relax, Holly. I'm not Norma Desmond. I know who I am. Washed-up sitcom star. Hell, it suits me. Oh, okay, Jackie. Has-been it is. <laughs> Dinosaur. Over the hill. Hey, ha! Huh. Don't push it, Holly. Sorry, Jackie. Well, hello. If it isn't my next ex-husband, <laughs> Jackie Carrington. Mm. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, and don't mind Julian. He's just leaving. Duh. Be there in five. Jackie, did you forget something, babe? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't think I can go again, at least not for a little while. Hey, Jackie, hey, uh, baby, could you bring me back some ice cubes? And, uh, and some lotion? Hello? Jackie? Is anybody there? Oh, oh yeah, hey, the package, right. Uh, uh totally slipped my mind. Look, just, just take it, okay, and don't tell Wes. Right? Thanks, man. Let's try it again. Wes, I have that Branson MD2 mic you ordered. Sweet. Swap it for the one in the booth, yeah? Can't wait to test this baby out. Hey, where's Joe? Listen to that. Pure analog bass. What did I tell you guys? Nothing beats the Branson MD2 for that real vintage sound. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, 
Let's get back to it, shall we? Who's the jittery guy over there? Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva? He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society? Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Ah. Uh, anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band who quit yesterday. The record label flew him in and I took him up to the restaurant lounge. So Miss, Miss Barrett, the manager, she's gonna come get him soon. Gee, I guess I should get his autograph. You, you, you don't deserve his autograph. You deserve mm. poop in a bag. So, uh, when is Dexy Barrett coming to pick me up? I don't know. I just carry the heavy stuff, man. You can head up to the studio yourself if you want. No, no, I don't want to seem pushy. I'll, I'll wait. Hope she didn't forget. How is Jordan to work with? Any pointers? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, anyway, the, um, the first album was just a lightning in a jar. Yeah, I couldn't believe how confident it was. Some fellas I know, like deep indie vinyl hipster fanatics, they insist that the soft currency EP was better. I like their earlier stuff. So unpredictable. But to me, Providence is where Jordan and Heidi and Quentin really clicked, you know? I'm really excited to be part of this. How's the new material? I only got the call yesterday morning, so I haven't made a single note. Eh, I like their earlier stuff. Touché! No, really, are they still like a band band, or are they moving in a different direction? Like the synth riff and SH-101 bass line on the closing track was definitely a nod to something more electronic. I'd love to do like a really tight groove. That's me, you know, man machine to silver. Yeah, well, you're certainly enthusiastic. Come on, this is the class, the most important band since the franchise. How are you not excited about this? Eh, well, you know, I'm Generation X. We're never excited. So, uh, Heidi, is she, um, as cool as she looks? I'm almost scared to talk to her, you know. Her sound's just awesome. Yeah, I just carry the heavy stuff. Fine. So, West Liston, eh? He's produced some of my favourite 90s albums. It's great how he's had a whole revival after doing the Break Lights album. Does he still use those analog 20th century mixing consoles? Yeah, I can tell you. Just curious. How is Jordan these days? Still reeling from Hannah Hymo's death, I bet. Can you imagine losing your girlfriend and get accused of killing her? At least his dad owns half the world's tabloids. Did he ever fully recover? Or is this album about... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. You don't know much, do you? So, the infamous Dexy Barrett. Is it true she lives off martinis and adrenaline? Yeah, I just carry the heavy stuff. Strong, silent type, eh? So, when's the album coming out? Yeah, I can tell you. Okay. So, you think I will get to do some recording today? I got a lot of energy piled up from the flight over. Uh, look, I don't, no idea, man. Fine. Is it true that Jordan's dad has a net worth of 11 billion? So much for the starving artist hypothesis, eh? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know much, do you? So what happened to uh, Quentin Moriarty? Why did he quit? We hung out at Roskilde a couple of years back. Great drummer, nice chap. He and Jordan fall out or something? Uh, look, I don't, no idea, man. Just curious. Mr. De Silva, welcome. No need for you to check in. You're expected in the Emperor's suite on the third floor. You can't miss it. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Ah, oh, Mr. De Silva, I presume. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. You will find Mr. Cross at the Emperor's suite. Oh, hey, Mr. De Silva. Dexie Barrett was supposed to pick you up at the restaurant lounge. Huh. Oh, well, while you're here, who cares? Go 
Go right in, sir. I'm, I'm a big fan. You know, Death and Taxes are like my favorite band. Appreciated. Uh, who's this? Oh, hey, you're a Quentin's replacement, right? Yeah, thanks for coming out. Um, do we have any more of those bronze acoustic strings with the nanocoats? Everyone, this around? is Abel De Silva. He's here to take over for Quentin. Uh, drums all set up, Wes? Good to go. Cool. So, what do you say, man? Get behind the kit, show us what you made up. kind of machine, aren't you? Oh, man. Nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? There's something I want to show you. After you. Hey, hey, hey. Who's yeah, the so, sorry about the mood around here. You know, Heidi's still pissed about Quentin leaving, but, you know, just don't expect her to roll out the red carpet. So, just do your thing, do it well, and she'll soften up. It's fine. Where are we going? Atrium roof. Look, I want to pitch you something. And I don't want the others to hear. It's bad for morale. Okay, people, clear the roof. Mr. Cross needs his privacy. Come on, let's go. So, I like your style. It's very tight, very new way. You, uh, you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Uh, who's repping you? Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, thought so. But believe me, man. You gotta aim higher. Anyway. So I have this project coming up. Yeah? I think it's right up your alley. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drummer. A hired gun. Not a partner. Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Ah. Uh, so you're interested? It's what I do. Great, yeah. Oh, mull it over. Talk to your people if you have any. You can decide when we get back to New York. Good talking to you, Abe. Come on, man. Don't be shy. Abe, let's go. Just let it rip. We won't bite. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? what? Don't tell me you're the type of person who can only perform for audiences over 200 people. Come on, man, just play the drums already. Okay, performance anxiety, huh? All right, all right. You're off the hook. We'll put you to the test soon enough. Okay, back to it, everyone. <laughs> 